right, welcome back. In this scenario for Cat Payload, I'm gonna talk about how do you load a truck with uh, tip off to truck. My default mode that I prefer is tip off to stockpile. So I'm gonna show you how you do this uh, with the uh, toggle button. So I'm gonna to temporarily toggle over to, to uh, tipping to a truck. So let's say I've got my first pass down. Go ahead and get my second pass. I don't need a lot, so I'm just gonna carry this bucket over. So in this case, I've got a weight, and I didn't quite need 15 tons for this customer. So I'm gonna start tipping tipping this truck this off. And as I do, watch this bucket zero cow button. And as that changes, uh, I'm in tip off to stockpile as signified by this with the white perimeter as well as that with the button uh, with the button and notice here if I carry the 7.6 tons over I'll have 15.5 but I know I didn't have that on my first pass so here's my truck now I'm going to tip and add to that first pass additional material so now this is adding to that first pass material that's actually falling off my bucket and you can see I can meter that material onto this truck and when it is done basically to my target, I can go ahead and stop. So I need just a little bit more for this guy. He wanted, he wanted that 10 tons. So that's where I'm gonna basically stop this at. I've got 10 tons on that truck. I'm gonna press store for him. Um, so that is done, it's completed. If I know I've got material in that bucket still. So if I give a slight steady raise, I can get that uh, weight to come right back. I could have also given an estimated weight press and I would have gotten that weight back or I could actually choose to come down after that truck is left and go up and get a precision weight on that remaining material in that bucket and if I would have done that before I press store it would have adjusted those weights accordingly as well now if this material is not actually going into the next truck you've got to return that back to the pile and so when you do that and you dump it back in the pile Notice that actually is recording here. So if you don't want that to be stored data, that is production data that you would retrieve later, you would just erase that. That's how you use uh, truck tip off. And that is coming from a tip off mode uh, that is set up as a default of tip off to stockpile. You could have your default set up as tip off to truck mode if that's primarily what you're doing. So you don't have to hit that toggle button, but I like uh, to preach that uh, tipping off to the stockpile is much more efficient. You're only carrying the material that you need to the truck. You're, uh, you're not returning the pile to dump material back to the pile and uh, just a much more efficient process. So that's how that tip off features work.